It's Jaws Munch here, and today we're going to be taking a look at 38 units that I really enjoy, Centurion being the first. This unit is fantastic for jetting down spam. They are best in larger groups and also supported with repair and longer range units. It is also known as having a meatball-like appearance. They are extremely fun to use. Highly recommend this unit. Next we have the Hound. I don't really know that we need a lot of introduction to this guy. He's best supported with radar and radar jamming. He is one of the basic units of Armada that is very important in any game. Make sure you use him frequent. The fat boy is up next, lobbing massive cannons of plasma towards the enemy. This guy is an extremely powerful unit and he will eliminate any cluster of units you have grouped up. So make sure if you're trying to take him down, you don't take him down in a ball. Otherwise, your ball will be exploded before you even know it. He's best also used with the radar bot because the radar will extend his range to be able to get maximum potential with him. And on to one of the lesser used units that really needs to be shouted out more, and that is the ghost. The ghost or any spy bot really with any faction is going to be an extremely viable unit for most any combat situation. He can walk up to an enemy and stun them by self-destructing himself and he is completely invisible which means he is able to get right up on top of them. You can see he has stunned this guy for 15 seconds, a little bit longer than that and this is just completely and totally overpowered be sure to use him in your games next we cannot give a best units video without mentioning the sniper devastating shots he can cloak properly used with a jamming bot he will be able to take out any large groups of heavy tanky units his weakness is definitely spam and a juno missile ah yes here's a classic the infamous janus these guys are fantastic they shoot two missiles that have stunning capability that will give a little bit of a knockback to any opponent they hit, especially smaller units. Never underestimate the ability of the Janus to completely wipe out your army that you have. Make sure that you use them in a type of in and out attack as they do have some reload time. So you want to weave in to attack and then weave out to reset. And when you do this, you'll have the most possible effectiveness. The Ambassador is one of my favorite tanks for Armada. It has extremely long range. It has also a radar jamming capability. So you're able to get right on top of the very high value targets and hit them with precision. It is best used for static defense as it can't really maneuver the missile onto the enemy you just kind of have to hope it hits the right spot at the right time but it can be pretty effective at taking out snipers if they are not microed properly because a sitting unit is a sitting unit i really enjoyed this unit especially for taking out long range targets now we have the infamous starlight these things are very powerful, but can become pretty weak against spam. It has a very cute little bill on the tip of it, as you can see, and it looks kind of like a little triangle for the treads. A very, very unique style unit, but a very devastating laser that goes with it. 
it's it's very slow and definitely needs to be supported by heavier units in front of it so that it doesn't get overwhelmed but that laser is essentially a walking pulsar another thing that's unique about this unit is when it is self-destructed it will explode similarly to a fiend where the explosion is even larger than it would be if it dies naturally so keep that in mind it does have a bit of a duplication effect if for some reason you are surrounded the bull was one of the first tanks that i really enjoyed in beyond all reason and they still have a special place in my heart today the dual cannons on these puppies will take out anything that comes into contact with them they are obviously weak against things like starlights and snipers but if you have them in the right situation and they're some of the first units you put out on the battlefield the enemy is going to be hurting for certain so be sure to take advantage of them as they are very mobile and heavy tanks. Now we have the Jaguar. This is the anti-spam for Armada and is an amazing little tank. It is slightly underused, I think. It has a lot of potential though. It has a very rapid speed so you can get from one place to the other quickly. It's a very good support unit as it also has anti-air capabilities, however very slight. And it can even swamp down some of the basic T3 units. Now we have the Titan. This is the powerhouse of Armada T3. It has some plasma cannons, dual plasma cannons, a tachyon laser on the top, and it also has a missile launcher that comes off of the top of it as well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it to fire with this recording, but trust me, I'm sure you guys have seen it, and it is a pretty long-range missile, best for taking out static defense. These guys are very powerful, but you have to be careful because they can be stunned. And now we have the Thor. This is a very powerful EMP tank that has little EMP cannons on the sides of it, which is very strong at taking out and stunning light units such as ticks or anything really that comes close to it. It has two of those uh, EMP lasers on the side, a big electrical cannon that shoots out of the front, and then also an EMP missile that can uh, shut down any group of units be sure to use that as that is its real powerful advantage it has over any other t3 next we have the cortex faction and i love my mammoths you all have seen that now we have the thugs these are the core of the cortex t1 bot army they are the front line and have decent range they also can use elevation to lob their plasma bullets a little bit further which try to use that to your advantage they are the core of the cortex t1 army now we have the Fury. This is an anti-air vehicle, which is very powerful. The Armada counterpart is equally strong as well, but be sure to combine this to keep off any anti-air issues. We also have the Tiger tank. These are a little bit weaker than bulls, but they are still very powerful, and a massive ball of them can do huge amounts of damage. A core unit for your front line in T2. Keep in mind, it would be good to bring some anti-spam with them as well. We also have one of my favorites, the Tremor. Tremors are extremely powerful with a very long range attacks, just raining down shells of artillery upon the enemy's defenses. The Salamander recently was nerfed, but still is a very powerful unit as it's quite fast, has the same mobility as bots do, meaning they can traverse up hills quickly without any resistance and also have EMP resistance on top. The Sheldon, this is a very powerful unit as well. I'm sure there's hardly a beyond all reason player who has not faced a ball of Sheldon covered by a few radar bots and radar jamming bots. They can be quite difficult to take out. I would recommend using lots of spam or some EMP bots to help with that. Moving on to the Arbiter, the Arbiter is a very long range missile, very similar to the Ambassador for Armada. These guys don't have radar jamming, but they are a little bit faster moving and can traverse terrain very easily. I 
would recommend using these to take out static defenses and if you have any slow moving or unmicroed units you can snipe them pretty easily with these as well without risking the bulk of your army this is the pounder the pounder is quite a powerful unit it has the concussive shells as well similar to the janus that will stun units but it is actually capable of destroying the janus in head-to-head -head combat now we have the wolverine these are powerful artillery tanks capable of outranging almost any t1 unit it's, it's very powerful at taking out any T1 static defenses, so use them often and abuse their range. Keep them well microed and out of fire, and they will be very powerful. The Fiend. Basically nothing to say here, except the self-destruct is twice as strong. The Behemoth. This is what you pull out when nothing else is working. The real best way to kill this thing is a degen so if you end up getting to the point where that's the only option it's probably too late in the game and gg boys so when you see it just be afraid and run for the hills thankfully it's as slow as dirt now we have the juggernaut this behemoth is when you have so much metal you just you don't know what to spend it on so you pump one of these guys out and they are a powerhouse of destruction let me tell you with a missile launching from the back a laser cannon heat ray from its nose and two plasma shotgun bursts that it will shoot at anything around it and also explodes like a nuclear missile upon self-destruct now moving on to legion we have the alaris these tanks are very powerful small scout like tanks that are comparable to the blitz but they have a burst fire that is very strong and does aoe damage and they can beat the blitz one-on-one -on -one. now we have the centaur this is a hound like legion bot that is very similar to the alaris on how it works it is a little bit faster and I think does a little bit less damage, but is comparable in most ways. It has a great movement speed and is great for raiding. Next we have my absolute favorite rocket bots, the Ballistas. As you can see, they recently got a texture overhaul, so they look much cooler now than they did previously. They are very powerful and have a lot more health than normal bots do from the other factions. Moving on to the Barrage, these are Napalm T1 tanks, very strong and capable of spreading flames across the entire battlefield. They do have a little bit less range than standard T1 artillery, but the flames will generally keep any army from desiring to push against you. The Gladiator. This is an updated version of what was previously on Legion's uh, T2 tanks. And let me tell you, I am impressed with them so far on their appearance and the style of battle. I haven't had a chance to use them, so let me know in the comments if you love these. The Medusa probably needs no introduction. These crazy tanks launch six missiles with a little bit of reload time and some targeting the targeting laser has an excessive range and is really great at just shelling down massive explosions from long distance the gladiator this is the by far best napalm artillery tank capable of being used by legion it can shoot extremely long distances and rapidly so your whole field will be on fire the belcher is all that t2 bots has to offer on napalm really and Honestly, a little bit disappointing when you compare it to the T2 vehicles as their range is quite limited. But they do have the ability to walk up hills much faster. But I think a little speed boost might be warranted. 
Striders are some of my favorite units. I compare them to the Fiends of Legion. They are a little bit more tanky and they also can shoot at air quite well with those machine guns. So a core unit. Now we have the Infester. These pesky little critters I would say are best used in situational purposes as they are spiders so you can climb around strange locations they do have weapons on them and they also have build power which means you can reclaim with them you can repair with them you can build with them but you can only build themselves these infestors can get into a backline area near an economy position replicate to form massive piles of themselves and then push in on the enemy economy as long as they don't give off a radar signature or have line of sight and do extreme damage with their laser beams and repair towards each other now moving on to the praetorian this is a t3 unit for legion and i think they're still roughing it out the model's been changing slightly over time and it has decent damage as it has two rail guns on the top some mini guns towards the bottom and also a powerful napalm machine gun on the center of it that will shoot napalm spurts at the enemy so pretty strong we'll see what it turns into as it continues to evolve but i'm excited to watch it as it grows and play with it because it's a very fun unit to use also another interesting thing is it leaves the corpse when you self-destruct it now we have the mobile heat ray cannons. This is the incinerator. These used to be extremely bad units, but they've had a major overhaul both visually and on their scripting. So now they can easily shoot at whatever units very rapidly. Their lasers are much better at targeting and you will likely not do friendly fire with these as well. So definitely build some, they're strong. Now moving on to one of my favorite units, not because it is the most effective, but because it looks the coolest. The McCade is a spider-like T3 unit that has rail guns on the top, mini guns on the front and back, and missile launchers towards the center. It has slight uh, climbing capabilities, although the graphic does not look perfectly yet when it does climb over hills. So it's a bit more mobile, but still acts kind of like any vehicle. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you on the battlefield. Wait a minute. Did you guys forget to subscribe? You've watched this entire video and didn't subscribe or press the like button. You guys are insane. You need to remember to do that because it helps spread the word for bar.